Dole's Get Up and Grow Tour is in St. Louis today to challenge you, me, all of us to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables and make the world a happier, healthier place. Sounds good to me. Here to give us all a sneak peek at all the fun that you can have at one of the local tour stops is Stephanie Getz. Hey Stephanie, how are you? Good, how are you? Nice to have you here. So tell me about this tour and what folks that go out to check it out can expect. Well, the tour, you know, we're going coast to coast, mm -hmm. 11,700 miles in 44 cities. Wow. Because we want to tell everybody how easy and tasty and fun it is to eat more fruits and vegetables because a third of the population eats less than one serving of fruits and vegetables a day. That's a problem. It's pretty scary. I know that you know that, but yes. I don't know if everybody else yes. gets that too. So for folks that want to go check this out, what can they expect when they get there? Food demonstrations, mm -hmm. and then they can try different recipes. There's a kid's smoothie station where they can make their own smoothies. We have have lots of different prizes mm -hmm. and different things, so it's a lot of fun for the whole family. We wanted to get a little sample of that. We're showing uh, folks at home some video of what it'll look like out there, but you don't really get a real sense unless you get some some, in, some recipe demonstrations. Yes. Can we call it that? So what did you bring for yes. us? This all looks wonderful. So we have here a great appetizer for your pool summer pool party. Mm -hmm. So it is a spinach and avocado hummus, oh, and no. it's made with cauliflower instead of chickpeas. Oh, I love it. Very yes. fresh. You have Very that outside fresh. by the pool or back on the deck. People Absolutely, and it's made with the dull spinach. Mm. And th I call summer like smoothie season. Is yes. that fair? Uh, you could. Yes. Absolutely. So we have the banana blue smoothie. Ooh. And it has dull bananas, and it has blueberries, and a little oats, and some honey, and just a touch of cinnamon. Can I try one of these? Absolutely. It's safe for tasting. Yes, All right, and then absolutely. tell everybody about all the things you can do with bananas that you, yes. that you didn't think about. Did you know that you could grill a banana? in the peel on the grill. No. I mean, how Never fabulous that. is that? And then you just slice it open after about four minutes and you can eat it right out of the peel. So it's so fun for kids. Because it gets a, probably a little melty. It's all custardy on the oh, inside. Yeah. You can put some toppings or you don't even have to put toppings on yum, it. Yum, yum. And then we have a grilled banana parfait. So just a little bit of yogurt. We have some pomegranate seeds and some blueberries and of course dull bananas. I love that. Some, a little bit of oatmeal or granola. And it's just delicious for a, again, a summer picnic. It fills you up. It stays it with you. It does. For a while. It I does. Like and you don't have to eat it for breakfast. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think of this for breakfast. Yep. You can eat it any time of the day. Love it. Yes. Is this gazpacho over here? It is. Yeah. This is gazpacho. And the best thing about this is all you need is the Dole Southwest salad kit and mm -hmm. some tomato juice. You put it all in the blender. And voila, that's you awesome. have gazpacho. And you don't have to tell people that that's what you did. You right. know, you brag about right. how and you took hours to make yes. this gazpacho. Yes, it's absolutely <laughs> fabulous. That's it's so absolutely cool. fabulous. Should also tell everybody, I'm going to jump over here for a second. Check out all the free swag that you're going to get. And a lot of this, the kids will really enjoy too, because yes. I see some stickers in here. If people visit one of these tour stops. Absolutely. Right? So mm -hmm. we have all these recipes in this recipe booklet. And we have a scorecard that you can put up on your refrigerator. And then you can keep track of the vegetables vegetables and fruits that oh, you that's eat. What's, oh, that's a great yeah. idea. Yeah, and then you can get um, hats and t-shirts and all kinds of really cool stuff. And then if you go to our website, all of this is on the website mm -hmm. as well. Okay, excellent. Well, we want to make sure that folks know how to get there. There's yes. 10 different tour stops happening in St. Louis here in the short term. And all you have to do, this is all the way through Tuesday, all you have to do for more information on tour locations, fruit and veggie recipes, and to take the Get Up and Grow pledge, you go to dole.com slash get up and grow. Yes. Stephanie, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You bet. Claire? Yeah, thank you. Mm. By golly, one way or another, we are going to get some breakfast this morning. We are featuring another very healthy food tour. It's a mobile unit that's taking a nationwide tour and stopping in Columbus this week. It's called Get Up and Grow. Stopped by, in fact, our studios. We had them outside. Beautiful, beautiful kind of setup. See, it's that. But because of the rain, we're in here now. And Stephanie is joining us because she is going to introduce us to just some good, healthy eating. Isn't yes, that right? Absolutely. We are with Dole's Get Up and Grow Summer Tour, and we are going coast to coast, 11,700 miles and 44 different cities. Wow. Yeah. Gosh. And we are showing everybody how fun, tasty, and easy it is to eat more fruits and vegetables. And how often do you stop for fast food along the way? Oh, no, we're not Because that's a lot of, lot of miles in the not car. Not a lot of fast food. Not well, let's allowed. start with what you have down here. This looks like a yummy drink. Yeah, so this is our Tropic Hill smoothie, and it is made with some Dole Power Up Greens with baby kale in it, and it has some pineapple and bananas and a little bit of blue diamond almond, freeze almond milk. So when we think of kale, we, we tend to think... 
we tend to think, oh, this is going to be gritty and no. that, yeah. you know, and kale on chewy its own, and yes. kind of tart. Yeah, you know? but you add all these other the other goodness in it, some grapes and some bananas and just all this other goodness. Oh, so bananas there's a bunch of other stuff in there. And you yeah. can get your kids to eat and drink yes, these things. Yes, you can. And, you know, you <laughs> just get them to help make it. So if you get them to help make it and then, you know, they're all involved Ooh, oh. in it. Kids would love that. Yeah, uh -huh. that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little mint in there, too. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Now I got mm. the grapes coming through. I get the mint. The kale really does a very good palate. I would not have gotten mint out of Did that. Did you get that? It's yeah, yeah no, it's yeah. good. It's okay. really, really tasty. Yep. Mm. So that's how you can get, you know, the whole family started in the morning. Yep. Now this is very, very cool. So this is the Southwest Dole Southwest kit. Okay. Solid kit. Everything in here goes in the blender with oh. some tomato juice and voila, you have a gazpacho. <gasps> Clever. Wait a minute. Yeah, so you just dump this entire thing in a blender. And then the topping is actually the sour cream that's in there. So where do the tomatoes, are there tomatoes and all in there? You can add some tomatoes to she it. She said a little tomato juice. Yeah, okay. but just tomato juice, and you put it in a blender, and voila. Brilliant. Yeah, do you want to try it? Absolutely. Oh, here's a little gazpacho. And you've got a little a little dollop of something on the top. That Looks is like some the spicy. sour cream, yes, that comes in the kit itself. So everything is in the kit except the tomato juice and a few other ingredients. Oh, you've got to try that. Really? Yeah. You know, if, if you cannot yeah. get your Here. kids to eat a salad, that's brilliant. Because yes. it is tough to get kids to sit it's, down and eat salad. It's outstanding. It's yeah. outstanding. Who and came you know, up with that? Here, try that. Well, actually, it it's was... pretty doggone smart. Yeah, it was a local um, chef that we have in Cincinnati that came up with it. Wow. Yeah. Huh. No, I would not have expected that. That's yeah. delicious. That is amazing. It's outstanding. Yeah. It really is. You yeah. would... Um, Given the ingredient list you just gave us for mm -hmm. that, you've been like, eh, no, right. that's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And next, this is our twist on hummus. Okay. So the hummus has dole cauliflower, mm -hmm. it has dole spinach, and it has um, avocado. Okay. And a couple spices like cumin to make it a little spicy. Okay. And absolutely try so this. So you just run this through the blender as well? Yes, you do. Run it through the blender. And, you know, for your pool party to be healthier, you can, have, you can serve this. Hmm. And it's a healthy little appetizer. I like that. Yum. That is good. Uh, after the gazpacho, it's a little bland because the gazpacho is pretty spicy. Yeah. Right? But it's still really good. That's yeah. yummy. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, you can, you can put more cumin in it if you like it a little bit spicier, which I would. Add so I might add a little it. bit more. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. So the best this looks for last. Fascinating. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you know you could grill a banana right in the banana peel? I got to tell you. I did not know this. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. All you do is put it on the grill in the peel and for like, I don't know, four minutes on either side. So you haven't had to olive oil that or anything, just throw it on the grill? Throw it on the grill. Mm. So you can do it in the um, in the peel or you can do it, you know, take the peel off and mm -hmm. do it that way, which is how we did this for the parfaits. And it just caramelizes with the Caramelize. sugars. It is so good and the kids, adults, everybody Parfait. loves it. What's in our parfait here? So we have a little bit of granola and mm -hmm. blueberries and strawberries. And then if you want to put a little bit of pomegranate seeds pomegranate on the top. Pomegranate on the top. Yeah, for some more, and some dull strawberries and dull and blueberries and yogurt. dull bananas. I have yep. to try the banana part. Yeah, and it's like a custardy. And so with these, all you have to do is slick the top open, mm -hmm. put some toppings on it if you want, you don't have to, and then just eat it right out of the Right of the banana itself. Out of the banana itself. You know, itself. it's just a shame that we don't realize with a little effort, you can really, really eat healthy. Yes, you can. <laughs> and it's just about taking you the effort. Can. Yeah. And this will probably surprise you, mm -hmm. but um, a third of the population eats less than one serving of fruits and vegetables a day. Wow. Yes. Wow. So okay. that's why we are going out there and teaching her. It doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't right. have to taste healthy. Very fun. Right. Hey, and I know you're in town until the 1st. Is that correct? Or Yes. Okay. So we're going to be at the Lewis Center Kroger tomorrow. Okay. And then if you go to dole.com slash get up and grow, it has all of our tour stops so you can see what time. Tomorrow, I think, is at noon. And you can go on there and take the pledge to eat more fruits and vegetables. And there's some rewards and some surprises. And then we have a kids' corner at our tour stops. Lots to do. Where, yeah, the kids can come in and... We have our um, recipe booklets and a scorecard that you can keep on your refrigerator. Yep. Stephanie, go. thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank Delicious you. stuff. Wow. We'll be right back.